Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to talk about 9 best developer options for Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. So let's start. First of all, I will show you how to enable developer options. So just go into your settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of about phone. Just select it. Once you select it, here you see this software information. Just select it and then here you see this option of build number. So you have to tap on it seven times. So I will just tap on it seven times and then it will ask me to confirm the pattern. So I will just confirm my phone pattern and then you can see developer mode has been enabled so once you scroll down here you see a new developer options available so you can select it and here you have all developer options for your phone the first developer option is about animation scale so if you want to decrease the animation speed and want to use the phone more faster you can enable this option so just go into your settings and then scroll down and just select this developer developer options now inside the developer options just scroll down and you will see an option of input so I will just show you the input option so if you scroll down more so here is the input so now inside this input section you will see an option of Windows animation scale just select it once you select it here you can see the animation scale is set to 1x so you can set it to 0.5x so I will just select it like this then the second option over here is transition animation scale select it and here you can also set it to animation scale 0.5x same way you can do it for animator duration scale you can set it to animation scale 0.5x so these three animation scale you just set now you will see a huge difference in your phone speed and you can open apps more faster you can switch between different apps more faster the next feature is about enabling refresh rate so just go inside the settings and then scroll down and select this developer options once you select it inside developer options just scroll down and you will see an option of show refresh rate so here is the option of show refresh rate just enable it once you enable it here on this corner you can see the refresh rate of your phone so if I perform any function you can see it is showing 120 and if I don't do anything it will go to 24 so if you want to set it to 60 Hertz you can also do it just go inside the settings go to display and then select this option of motion smoothness so currently it is set to adaptive which is 120 Hertz so if you set it to standard it will be 60 Hertz and you can apply it and it will also show you on your phone so here you can see it is showing me 60 Hertz refresh rate the next setting is about sensors off if I bring down this quick panel here you see a new option of sensors off if I just select it and now if I try to turn on my phone camera it will not allow me to open my camera and it says security policy prevents use of camera so how to enable this setting just go inside the settings and then select this developer options inside the developer options you will see an option of quick setting developer tiles just select it once you select it here you see this option of sensors off so if you want to enable it you can just enable it from here the next feature is about running services so if you want to see which apps are running in the background you can use this option just go inside the settings and then scroll down and select developer options inside the developer options you will see an option of running services just select it once you select it here you see all the apps that are running in the background for example this Spotify app is running in the background so you just select it from here and then if you want to stop it you can stop it from here as well so for example I stop it like this again I will select Spotify and then again I stop it so you will see the Spotify is now disappear from here so this means this Spotify app is no more working in the background the next setting is about stay awake so in normal case if you put 
put your phone on charging after 10 minutes your screen will go off but if you want to stay awake permanently you can use this option just go to the settings and then select developer options and here you see this option of stay awake okay and you can enable it from here so your screen will never sleep while charging the next setting is about mobile data always active so for example if your phone disconnect from a wi-fi it will directly turn on your mobile data so how to enable this option just go to your settings and then scroll down and select developer options inside the developer options you will see an option of mobile data always active so if i just scroll down i will show you this option of mobile data always active so here is this option so just select it so after enabling this setting it will help for fast network switching the next setting is about background process limit so if you don't want any app to run in the background you can enable this option just go to your settings and then scroll down and select this developer options inside the developer options you have to scroll down and you will see this option of background process limit so here is the background process limit just select it once you select it here you can see it is currently set to standard limit but if you want you can set it to no background processes so once you select no background processes so no app will run in the background the next setting is about default usb configuration so when you connect your phone to a laptop or pc it always asks you to transfer files or charge only but you can set it to a single default setting so just go inside the settings and then scroll down and select developer options inside the developer option just scroll down and you will see an option of default USB configuration just select it once you select it here you will see different options so you can select this transfer files if you want to use only this setting but if you want to use your phone for charge only so you can select the charging phone only option the next setting is about force dark mode so if i enable the dark mode in my phone and then if i try to open some app for example i want to open amazon shopping so you can see this app is not showing in the dark mode so how to enable this app to open in the dark mode so just close this app first then go to your developer options just go to the settings select the developer options and then scroll down and you you will see an option of force dark mode so here is the force dark mode option so just enable it once you enable it and now if you try to open this app so now this app will show you in the dark mode so here you can see now this app is available in the dark mode so you can enable this setting for your force dark mode so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much